Hello everyone, my name is Sirfan. So, this video I'm going to show you how to use this facial expression patch in Spark AI. So let's let's drag and drop the Spark AI patch. First, I need to create a blank project. expression patch in spark AR studio and I'll show the patch editor I got the patch editor now I'll just drag them into the patch editor so we can see the patch editor version 2 now it has face face 3d rotation and physics intensity so these are the patch up to right eye closeness uh, this is normal shape key values and physics short hat uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to use this physics for short hat so this patch shows the error because uh, it needs a face as input so what we're going to do is add face tracker and we need to just drag and drop the face tracker inside the uh, patch editor and give the face as the input so now the uh, error, error was gone so now for this we need a face uh, with some bones so i'm going to show you how to create those things so let's go to uh, go to the blender or any other software you like so first i need to i'll close this uh, spark here because it takes a lot of ram i'll save in a i save it here so this version one so okay it's saved so let's close the spark here and I'm going to the uh, blender so the load up load your model inside the uh, blender or any other software you comfortable I'm comfortable with the blender and first we need to confirm that every parts are in different uh, objects like eyes face hair and upper teeth and lower teeth like that so this is lower teeth this upper teeth you can see this is lower teeth yeah so we don't want the lower teeth and upper teeth for now just we need the hair so click the hair so we need to conclude uh, that which are which are not the parts going to move so we need to separate the hair which is going to move so go to edit mode and I need to select any one of the hair and press Ctrl L. So it selects the linked uh, linked uh, vertices. So the one of the hair parts will be selected like this. So it has hair uh, like this. We need to select. So we need to separate this one. So go to separate and selection. So we we select and we going to separate that. So in the right side you can see hair one. So this is hair one. The hair was the full uh, other other parts. So likewise we need to separate each and every hair which we want to move. So we don't want to move every hair. So if you want to move each and every hair, so then you need to uh, separate each and every hair in the head. So we don't want that. I'll take this part, this right side part, uh, which is hanging down. The these hair, if these hairs are moved, it will be looking great. So I'm I'm hiding those hair which we already separated. So likewise, we need to do. So I'll do uh, ten hairs uh, for this tutorial. Else, it will go too long. Okay, 
much yeah it goes 10 okay so this tutorial i'll do up to 10 okay we can keep it 11 okay so now i'm going to object mode so you can see this is the hair and these are the hairs we separated so we are going to make this hair to be moving when user turns their head so how to create the bones uh, okay so now we are going to hide this hair because it will make some disturbance and we are going to hide uh, other other than one hair uh, so we can keep this hair one visible so we are going to work on this hair first so for creating bones it's very easy don't uh, hesitate to learn that because it's very easy so go to add go to armature and click the armature so you will get a bone you can see here you can see the bones now uh, we need to uh, make sure Lap got hang. Okay, so we need to make sure the biggest part should be uh, in upward. So like this. So this bigger part will not move. A uh, bigger part will not move. The down, uh, which which was thinner, will will be moving. Can you understand? So this will be in static position. Uh, this will be moving left and right. Okay. So this this need to come to uh, this part. This this part need to come here, and this part need to come here. The edge of the tip of the hair. So let's move and arrange like that. So okay. For moving uh, that uh, smaller part, go to edit mode. So you can control uh, everything like this. So we need to create two hairs two bones sorry we need to create two bones just like this and this one is like this so so we need another one bone uh, to be uh, to make the bone coming to this tip so what we are going to do is to press e a b c d e so while while, we, while pressing E, it will create a bone with the tip of the uh, existing bones. So I click Escape to cancel. So you can see uh, when I press uh, E, it creates a new bone. I'll show you another thing. So click. Uh, you should click this part and press E and drag your mouse. It will it will attach to your mouse pointer like this create carefully so like this so please uh, turn your uh, rotate your camera and see uh, everything is perfect so this overlap is uh, not a big problem uh, you can do like this itself just create a bone uh, nearest to the uh, the hair or you can overlap that that's not a problem because this bone will be invisible and so um, once you created the bone for the hair now uh, what you need to do is select the hair and hold the shift key and select the bone now on the right side you can see the armature and hair was selected and right click and go to uh, parent and select the weight with automatic weights once you click that you can see there is no hair one because it goes inside the armature here it is okay so what you need to do is go to armature and you can see a bone and inside you can see bone one uh, it shows this is bo uh, bone zero and this is bone one Okay, because there is two bone we, we have created. So this base bone is uh, you need to rename because we are going to create hair for uh, totally 10 things. 
uh, once you create it you can see every uh, every hair has the same name bone and bone one which makes an issue in spark here because uh, you cannot load the bones with the same name so what you need to do select this a uh, bone and rename it as a and double click here and rename it as a1 so likewise you need to do for all has like b and b1 c and c1 like that so once we completed this hair you can hide the hair so you one uh, you when you hide like this it will hide the only bones so hold the shift key and hide so this will hide the total hair so next thing you going you need to do the hair to uh, click on the visible icon you can see the hair too so same technique we're going to do go to add and armature you can see the armature now we need to um, make the bigger side to be here and lower side to be here so we need to expand it through here so let's keep like this so adjust uh, the bone in each angle so it will be perfect so then go to edit mode and off of the hand like this and click E and expand it to tip of the hand so that's it so go to object mode select the hair select the bone right click parent with automatic weights no 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 you can see on the right side you can see the hair too because the armature is outside this collection so you need to uh, put inside this collection and you select the uh, bone which is hair and bone and right click go to automatic weights so so the hair too will be moving inside this armature so click on the armature and you can see it named as bone and bone one so you, you should not do like that so name it as b and b1 and do the repeat the process so we can hide this one we can assemble this hat three go to add armature take this here Go to edit mode, turn this down, and press E. Do the same. Go to object mode. So now you can see the same mistake here. Put inside the collection. Select the hand, select the um, bone. Select the parent and automatic weights and hide this one and go to hair 4 add armature you can keep one of the armature here itself so you don't need to uh, click each time add armature add armature so keep it keep it here click this one and hold the shift and select D click the uh, press the D A B C D so that you can duplicate and use this board for next hand you can duplicate another time so it will be easy keep it, keep it like this go to edit mode and keep this smaller side going downwards and press E and exclude it yeah okay now go to object mode and select the uh, bring the armature 4 this is armature 4 this is armature 3 so 
make this armature 4 inside the collection collection and select the hand select the bone and with automatic weights edit so make this uh, bone 3 armature 3 inside the collection because uh, this is the bone 3 we are going to uh, duplicate this one and we are going to use for uh, uh, other remaining hairs so that uh, one, once we do keep the armature 3 inside this collection once you are duplicating uh, that armature it will be inside the collection ok so add 5 go to edit mode just keep the bones nearer to the hairs it won't cause any problem if it is overlap so expand it to the tip of the bone and go to object mode and select the bow hair and bone with automatic weights yeah repeat the process then hair 6 R6. Now, the best practice is to overlap the uh, hats because it works well. save then and there else once the blender get crashed then you're going to lose the data select the hair select the bone go to parent it automatic weights and hide those as seven duplicate go to edit mode So you can see this hair is very big but our bone is very small it's not it's not an issue just create the bone uh, which should be center like this you can overlap overlap the hair so we can so here it is overlapped go to object mode select the hair select the bone go to parent with automatic weights now hair 8 so hide the hair 7 shifting edit mode go to tip of the hair It's a very easy process for the first time it will take time once you got it how it works then it will be very easy so go to object mode select the hair select the bone complete hide the hair don't forget to rename the bone because it's very important once once creating everything i will re rename it Select the bone, right click, parent with automatic weights, hide the hair. Just two more hairs are remaining. Shift D and go near the hair. Go to edit more. Okay. 
exclude okay go to object mode select the hand so hair is here let's edit on our target sorry so we just select the bow and go to edit mode not a problem so be better like the hands like the bone right click automatic weights so this is the final hair so we no need to duplicate this one so let's drag it directly because this is the final hair go to edit mode Press E. Put on check mode and select the hat, select the bone, right click with automatic weights. So that's it. We have created every hair, bones for every hair. So we need to rename it now. So make it visible every hair. So you can see on the right side panel, I make it bigger. The right side panel, you can see on major V, we have renamed this A, A1, this is B and B1. So this need to go to C and this is C1. So by clicking each and every uh, this triangle, you can hold the shift and once you click here, it will open all the subdivisions. I will do it next. D and D1. So like clicking this one, you should hold the shift key and click. So it will open all the subdivisions. You can easily rename it. D. This is E. E1. G and G one H I I one J J one K K1. You can rename it this, rename however you want with any name, but this is very convenient to for using the bones inside Spark AI. Okay, so we have renamed everything. Okay, this is not necessary. Okay, so once we done, save. And we need to export this one, this model in Spark AI. So going to export, uh, export it as GLTF. This is much better. Export it as GLTF. This is a uh, messy. So it got exported. So let's close the Blender and go to. Spark AI and let's open the V1 which we saved at the beginning of the video. Uh, this tutorial is all about the hair, hair physics. So in next video I will try to put the uh, face expressions in detail. I already make a video uh, to create the, these uh, face expressions up to this one but uh, it's not very clear like uh, I didn't uh, explain how to create a shape keys I just uh, how I just created like how to connect these things into uh, into the uh, created shape, existing shape keys so I'll put a video on that so now uh, let's import the our model 
to import from computer and let's see here it is okay it is it was loading so it get loaded uh, what you need to do is uh, drag this queue uh, upon the face tracker so that the face will be tracking our model will be here okay so let's pause the demo video and let's make this one to be upon the user's face like this so you can see the hair was weird this can be easily fixed so click the hair go to material and select this alpha to replace now we can see the hair hair cords are visible so we need to uh, enable the alpha so it can be done go to alpha test and just uh, increase little bit alpha so you can see the hair the, the hair was very brighter in left side but uh, in the rendered view uh, it is not too much brighter it's very darker so we'll open the advanced render option and select this as linear uh, oh it's making it too dark so make it as rgb and go to your hair texture this uh, this is basic everybody know i think so so go here and make it as linear yeah this it is this makes the rendered view to be little bit beautiful so you can see the hair which has some texture okay that's not a problem now you can see uh, bones uh, which we created uh, we cannot uh, use this these bones and clicking these are very hard so we can go to left side panel because we have renamed everything in neat manner like aa1 bb1 like that so what we need to do uh, this is upside down so it, it is coming from k so our A will be here, yeah. So this is not a problem. Just uh, it don't it don't want to see the uh, we uh, see the preview. First we create the bones. It's very easy. So step one, what you need to do is select the bottommost bone, which is K one, like A one, B one, C one, D one. Uh, that is very much important so this k is not a problem because it it is the root of the hair which we don't want to move okay so the tip of the hair need to be moved so you should select the k1 so k1 once you selected the k1 you can see on the right side position scale and rotation there are three options so what we need to do is select the rotation because we need to move the tip of the hair which should uh, rotate when user moves their head it, the hair should rotate okay so we have put the k1 here likewise you need to do for every hair like a1 b1 c1 d1 like that so go to a i will do from a1 so go to rotation and add here so let's make the k1 the bottom and b b1 yeah go to rotation and take it here and you know to go to c c1 rotation you should be careful you should do do it manually there's no other option if you have any option inside the comment d1 a b c d e that is e ok 
सकते हैं सारे ये सी है ए बी सी डी ई एफ सो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी टू अरेंज यू कैन डू इट वॉट एवर इट इज एफ जी क्लोज दी ब्राउजर जी एच So we have all has rotation values. So next thing we want to do is take this to the side. No need that anymore. So let's let's move a little bit here. So now we need to right click and add and add. We need to uh, select vector three. because uh, hat has three values so you need to have the vector 3 so what you need to do is copy this a uh, value and paste it here because this is the uh, default values we need this default values because uh, when the hat moves it need to it need to return to its default value so that we need we need we need this value without this value the hat will be moving uh, something like it's not correct so the hat will be moving to the nose and teeth like that it will move and it won't return to the uh, default value so there is a problem so i have uh, put everything inside this patch so it will return to the default values that's not a problem but you need uh, you need to give the actual default value which you have so that you need to copy this and you need to paste it here so first we can uh, put every add add values in uh, in front of the uh, every patch so that it will be easy so control d so control d will be duplicating so this is uh, so control d I have passed too slow. No, this actually duplicates, but the tracking is too slow. Let's keep it correctly. So I need to move everything. you be careful while doing these things yeah that's it so now we can just copy and paste it yeah this works fine <laughs> like just copy this value and paste it here copy this value select everything make sure you select everything on the first click it will select everything okay so copy and paste just paste what values uh, in 
say the box Be careful while copying. Sometimes you may copy a wrong value. Once you copied, the work got over. This is the one. This is the one hardest work we need to do while creating these poems. So everything is copied. So just connect the uh, values to the output yeah that's it so now our patch is going to work like take this patch and give it to the first value everything for every every patch Every calculations are done inside the patch, so you don't need to do anything. Just connect the patch value. Yeah, fine. So now the physics intensity is one. We can give like seven. It will look a little bit movement in air. So you need to give the 3D rotation as input because then only the the patch knows where the user was turning. So now you can see the changes here. So the hand will be moving. I'll show it to you. Sometimes it looks weird, uh, but uh, you can you, you need you need to restart this uh, button so that it will work fine so you can see the hair was moving uh, it was little bit hang laggy because uh, what can i tell because my app was uh, can't handle the yeah yeah things so once you loaded in the inside the mobile phone it looks fine uh, you can see here this even this works fine see you can see the our hair which which are all the hair we we have separated is working fine uh, this this lags uh, when it has more movement so let's keep it fine don't worry even in your mobile it will work fine it's it's lagging in the laptop only okay oh, I like the you can see it's very smooth it's lagging while while he moves to the so Thank you for watching this video on next next video i'll put how to create a, a shape keys for this patch like left eye brow raiseness right eye brow raiseness and everything here i'll put a new video and i'll create a documentation page which has a, a detailed explanation for every patches and how to create this patch so thank you for watching this video, we will stop the recording.